I'll be doing one of the longer raised beds today and I'll document it step by step for you again. Some of the materials I use, so this is uh, all in millimeters, 20 by 95 ton and groove. This is used for under roofing here in Sweden. Then I use the, I don't know the name, the rafter, or oh, it's not rafter, well, the thing to put the tiles in, which is uh, 28 by, uh, 25 by 48. And with uh, just these two types of wood, I build the bed. And the beds I'm building today will be 245 by 80 in the end. So 80 something because of the corners and the spaces and so on. But this is it. Now I've got eight of the long boards. Now I'll do the eight for the top and the bottom, which is 80 centimeters. I was planning to have less um, leftover because I was planning to get these boards in the lengths of 4.8 meters. And then I could do one long one and uh, three short ones from the same side and then at some point just three. So it would I would save a bit of money. Uh, this way I get uh, 40 centimeter-ish. I can stop with the ish and just say how much. So I'm getting uh, 40 four centimeters. I'll do something else with this.
So now I have the eight for the tops. Now I'll start taking care of the siders. So doing doing these. So I need five for each of the large sides, three for each of the shorter ones. And this is upside down because the, the wood actually is finished on one of the sides and this is the side that will be towards the outside. Same thing on the other ones, where the wood on this side is not too bad, but on this side it has this, these uh, little ridges, and this is the side I leave to the outside. Yeah, you can see that on these I may take 40 centimeters. Just decided to make the tops out of these. So the tops are... 76. So 76, I need two of those. I'll take it now. So I'm going to do the two longer tops. So 245, if they weren't, I cut this in the store, so maybe they are all ready. No, I left uh, a little bit. So it's just trimming it to the right measurement, 245. So now I have two longer tops, two shorter ones, the sides, and I'm missing 8, 5, 5, 16, I'm missing 13 of these, 13. Thirteen of these. So thirteen. I have fourteen. I have twelve. I need twelve. So this one is thirty-nine. But the thing is, since I'm going to cut the beak, and it's just that it doesn't go into the dirt that much, it works one centimeter more or less. I have margin. Not super duper important. Sometimes you get not so good wood. This one, can I make another one from it? It's a bit of a stretch. I'll pass. Now 
Uh, these are probably too short. Yeah, 35. Something else as well. Three to go. So now I have everything for the assembly. Let's make a summary. I have the uh, eight of longer ones, two thirty-six long. I have eighteen, eighteen of these for connecting everything. I have another eight for the top and bottom, the tops. These they are eighty centimeters, so two thirty-six. 80, 40, but in reality it's the 35 that count until then I get the beak. Then I have two, these are the tops, two with 76, two with 245. Time to assemble. So it's time for the assembly. I use both nails. And these are 40 millimeters, these nails and screws, zinc screws, wooden screws, they are 42. So I use the screws to screw both and once they're together, since they are ton and groove, I just put in the nails in the middle. I start with the center. So these are 80, so the center is at 40. And 40. And I put it to the face on the top. So the rest is left over. And I just eyeball it. And here we go. There's the first screw right to the middle. Just double check it. Okay. And out of battery. Okay, full battery again. Middle, middle, 
everything tied together. Right. Now they're put in together. I'll take care of the sides. And the sides I just leave just leave like a uh, two centimeters to the outside. So once again, I eyeball it. In the end, when I tie everything together, it works pretty nice. is done I put the nails to the other two just so they don't go back and forth So now I'll repeat, do another one, and then show the longer one. The principle is always the same. Middle, sides, and in the case of this one, the long ones, I have a middle, then quarter. Now for the big one, the principle is exactly the same. Flip it. Six, which means one eighteen. This tongue will be removed so the top goes flush. case 
so there's no play. I'll drive the nails right now. for the tops and now it doesn't juggle anymore you can set these So now I have all the sides, the four sides. Now I need to take out this tongue so the top goes. I'll use the jigsaw. is the inside I will still put uh, protection on it once it's in place so now it's time to uh, protect the wood Done for today. I'll call it a day. Finish tomorrow.
Okay, let's assemble it. Still a bit uh, dry. I know I do. Six. Then It is now completed and it's time to move it to the garden. <laughs> <laughs> 